imagine you've relocated to a super deep bunker where nothing and no one can harm you. Suddenly, a mysterious black sphere materializes right before your eyes. And judging by the countdown, it's a bomb set to obliterate you and the bunker in just one minute. But this is neither magic nor teleportation. It's an attack from another dimension. But how is this even possible? And is there any chance to escape? And really, what might these higher dimensions of our universe be hiding? Back in the 16th century, German mathematician Michael Stiefel considered adding another parameter to a cube aside from width, length, and height. He claimed that this higher fourth dimension is against nature. A century later, Stiefel's successor, British scientist John Wallace, declared that any four-dimensional object is a monster in nature, less possible than a chimera or centaur. But why were these esteemed scientists fearful of something supposedly non-existent? Charles Howard Hinton was a daredevil who, at the end of the 19th century, introduced to the public the so-called Tesseract, that very four-dimensional cube. To the usual directions of up, down, left, right, and forward, backward, Hinton added two more directions, kata and ana, which translate from Greek as up, forward, and down, backward. But you can't actually see them. Thanks to Hinton's work, we can only imagine such a projection of a 4D cube into our 3D world. And it's truly eerie. It's new, and new faces seem to come out of nowhere. But actually, they emerge from an extra dimension invisible to us. Hinton's Tesseract especially impressed one humble clerk at a patent office. Albert Einstein, who back in 1905 published his revolutionary special theory of relativity. According to it, our universe consists of three spatial dimensions and a fourth dimension, time. Moreover, gravity arises because massive celestial bodies warp this 4D fabric of space-time. So if a bomb is tossed into your bunker through the fourth dimension of time, it won't explode. Because according to Einstein, you can't change the past from the future. However, other scientists have taken it even further. In 1921, German mathematician Theodor Kaluza published what he thought was a comprehensive theory of everything. By adding a fourth spatial dimension to our universe, he managed to merge gravity with electromagnetism. That is, the two main fundamental forces known at the time. Later, Swedish theorist Oskar Klein expanded on Kaluza's work with quantum mechanics, yet to no avail. Because according to Kaluza-Klein theory, electrons and atoms would weigh 5 kilograms, and that's total nonsense. But there are plenty of indications that extra dimensions really exist. First, it's just a regular sheet of paper. On its surface could lie a universe with just two dimensions. Howard Hinton called it flatland. Here, a flat Earth is absolutely real. From your higher third dimension, you can see all its continents and oceans simultaneously. Even if someone from flatland tries to hide in a completely isolated bunker, for you, they're always visible. If you slide a bomb in there, from the 2D poor guy's perspective, it seems to come out of nowhere. Just like that, hiding from a 4D creature is impossible for us. To the 3D world, it's akin to God. And modern science suggests that its domain is permeated with dark matter. According to astrophysicists, it interacts with ordinary matter only through gravity and gives galaxies most of their mass. But just as the search for this mysterious substance hit a dead end, some scientists have proposed 
the exotic hypothesis of dark matter from white holes. You might think that sounds like the title of another young adult bestseller, but actually, it's about how black holes don't suck ordinary matter into a singularity, but into an additional fourth dimension, where it continuously erupts from white holes. It's like a cosmic-scale dumping ground. As a result, all this ejected mass becomes invisible to us, but still influences our three-dimensional universe through gravity, possibly explaining the effects of dark matter. But can we detect this? This dimension. On August 17, 2017, the LIGO Gravitational Wave Detector captured the first collision of two neutron stars 130 million light years away from Earth. Astronomers realized that if additional spatial dimensions really existed, this cosmic catastrophe's gravitational echo would scatter into them, resulting in a much weaker signal reaching us. However, calculations led scientists to declare with 99.9% .9 certainty that we indeed live in a 4D universe. But as Einstein predicted, we're talking about three spatial dimensions and one temporal. So, are higher dimensions non-existent? And is our bomb in the bunker just an illusion? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. One of the most successful attempts by physicists to explain our universe involves the existence of several exotic dimensions. Imagine a straight line where you can only move forward or backward. This is a one-dimensional object. In 1968, Italian physicist Gabriele Veneziano introduced quantum particles as vibrations of just such a line, and the mathematical calculations of their behavior were greatly simplified. The scientist imagined a universe made up of vibrating one-dimensional strings at its foundation. At the time, many didn't take Veneziano's wild theory seriously. However, by 1974, John Schwartz and Joel Shirk demonstrated that string vibrations could elegantly incorporate gravity into quantum physics, a feat no one had achieved before. There was just one hitch. For the equations to work, an extra dimension of space was needed where these tiny strings could oscillate and create gravity. Thus, physicists revived the Kaluza-Klein theory and crafted the first string theory. Yet, the more particles and interactions they tried to explain, the more extra dimensions kept popping up. Initially, there were six, then nine, and eventually a whopping 26. But in 1995, brilliant physicist Edward Witten managed to unify all string theories into a single M-theory, which neatly explained all known interactions in the universe and only required 11 dimensions, 10 spatial ones and one temporal. But where are all of these dimensions? Many things appear flat to us, like the surface of a well-polished katana. However, if you zoom in with an electron microscope, you'll see a complex three-dimensional landscape of peaks and valleys. These features are so tiny that they don't affect our perception of the sword. However, to particles like electrons, these tiny features are absolutely real obstacles, turning a two-dimensional surface into a true three-dimensional one. What if the same thing is happening with space itself? Our three-dimensional universe seems smooth and uniform until you zoom into Planck-scale dimensions. That's 10 to the negative 35th power meters. String theorists are convinced that this is where you can uncover all the hidden extra dimensions tucked away in these exotic Kalabi-Yau manifolds. Basically, these are like the technical tunnels of our universe, through which only strings and multi-dimensional membranes woven from them can squeeze through. The good news is that even if this theory holds, no bomb or even a single electron can sneak through these tiny gaps. Yet, back in the 70s, British physicist Tom Kibble warned us about these potentially dangerous exotic objects from string theory. And in the fall of 2023, 
scientists at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics announced they had found one. It looks like two galaxies in this shot, but it's actually just one. Such an effect would typically be caused by gravitational lensing, where a massive object in front of a light source multiplies its image. But in this case, there's nothing between us and the galaxy. That means the telescopes have detected a colossal cosmic string. It's a crack in the very fabric of space-time that formed during the rapid cooling and expansion of the early universe. These cosmic strings can stretch from thousands to billions of light-years in length, and yet they're unbelievably thin down to Planck scale thickness. That means that one of these cosmic strings could easily penetrate through the folded dimensions into any point in space and tear it apart, including you in the bunker. However, to date, no experiment has detected these strings or the extra folded dimensions. Similarly, opponents of string theory haven't been able to debunk it yet. That means we're still not safe. If higher dimensions exist in any form, they're an existential threat to us all. Scientists at the Large Hadron Collider have stumbled upon traces of something unusual. In January of 2024, a study revealed an anomaly with the Higgs boson, discovered at the same collider over a decade ago. Actually, both then and now, during proton beam collisions, the detectors don't see the exotic particle itself, but the byproducts of its decay. It's like guessing the make of a car by the pieces left after a crash. The fragments of the Higgs boson can vary from one experiment to another, yet existing theories provide clear statistics on how often these detectors should spot these byproducts. However, the new study showed that a very rare decay scenario happened twice as often as scientists had anticipated. Some believe this points to the influence of tiny, curled-up dimensions, through which the Higgs boson interacts with something unknown. This would have been merely a scientific curiosity if British scientist Martin Rees hadn't warned us back in 2018 that experiments at the Large Hadron Collider could create microscopic black holes. Certain scientists assure us that the proton beam collisions are not powerful enough to generate the energy density needed. But if it turns out that additional processes are occurring from folded dimensions, as suggested by the Higgs boson, we might eventually cross a very dangerous threshold. If even a tiny black hole appears in the collider or your bunker, you won't have a minute, you'll have just fractions of a second. Within 10 to 15 minutes, the entire Earth could plummet into a hellish dimension from which there is no return. But the effects of unaccounted for dimensions are capable not just of compressing, Right now, the entire universe is expanding increasingly quickly. Most scientists believe that the vacuum of space itself contains what's known as dark energy. So, the more new space appears, the more it pushes outward in all directions. But even astrophysicists admit this isn't a real explanation, just a crutch to keep their theories from falling apart. But in my research into higher dimensions, I came across an alternative theory that seems much more coherent and terrifying. If you draw galaxies on the surface of an inflatable balloon and start blowing it up, they'll also rapidly move away from each other. This effect would puzzle astronomers in this version of Flatland because they wouldn't realize that their cosmos is expanding due to the enlargement of an extra third dimension inside the balloon. So, what if our universe also has an extra dimension where gravitational waves don't flow? That's why we don't notice it. However, it keeps growing, making the three-dimensional cosmos continuously expand. But everyone knows what happens to an inflated balloon when it's pumped up too hard. Eventually, this dark dimension could tear apart our three. That means it won't be galaxies breaking apart as some theories about dark energy predict. 
Instead, the very fabric of space-time itself will rip. No bunker will save us from that. But what if our contact with ghostly higher dimensions has already happened? You know, I'm extremely interested in videos of strange objects declassified by the Pentagon in recent years. But what especially caught my attention was the revelation from former intelligence officer David Grush, who spoke to the entire Congress about the non-human origin of these phenomena on July 26, 2023. And one of his phrases just stuck in my head. It could be that this is not necessarily extraterrestrial, and actually that it's coming from a higher dimensional physical space that might be co-located right here. So the civilization that created these objects may not exist in distant space, but right here on Earth, under our noses, in hidden, higher dimensions. Of course, these beings would seem godlike to us, as we would be like Flatlanders to them. And considering they haven't dropped four-dimensional bombs on us yet, contact with them may mark a new era of prosperity for us. So, what do you think? Is there someone out there beyond the walls of our 3D cell?